Yes. Hey, what are you doing? The 58 Chevy. More lowrider. Um. Hello. I am the piss. Welcome to Flake and Flames. Custom culture is kind of a weird, uh, like, everybody's going to have a different answer to what it is. I was there when it all started. Rock and roll, pinstripe, and custom paint and everything. Obviously, a lot of people out there are confused what's a hot rod, a rat rod, or whatever, you know, chopper. It could be fashion or clothing. Tattoos, pinstriping, airbrushing. Some of those guys could care less about cars. I think it's for people that can't spell, so they can spell custom with a K. <laughs> it used to be all the lowbrow guys, all the custom culture guys. You could fit them on like one bus, you know. The real 60s were not like the cool fantasy that people have. In those days, there weren't any rat rods running around. There wasn't any guys running around with their cuff six inches wide and all this. Your average modern rockabilly guy had gone back to Tennessee in 1956 and went in a dance hall. He would have been fucking, what are you, a fag? And what he got his ass It's such a big thing. It's like a never ending. You have artists, you have car builders, you have music at every event. It's everything from skateboarding to punk rock to rockabilly, country. It's like a big nice mix or everything. And nowadays you have a lot of pinups and it's all these different ways of expressing yourself and a lot of it lends itself to the forefathers like Ed Roth, uh, Von Dutch, Robert Williams all those guys. It's just a raw expression of these builders and you know, what these hip guys are doing. Well, hey, I'm Peter from The Go-Getters. Welcome to Flake and Flames, the custom culture adventure. The original custom culture guys were for real. The real thing was a bunch of guys that came back from World War II that were fucking bored and frustrated and they wanted to get thrills. And so they started modifying cheap cars and cheap motorcycles and racing them and doing weird fucked up shit. That's real custom culture. I never went to school that much. In fact, I flunked art in school. Teachers were always trying to tell me, do this flowers and do all this other hippie fucking shit. I was drawing monsters. They take my papers and pretty much rip them up. And uh, of course, one day, one teacher came up and, and I hit him. I got kicked out. <laughs> Welcome to Flake and Flames, the custom culture adventure. This just sounds like shit.